Friends, we continue in this incredible revelation of Jesus through the Apostle John. We are in Revelation chapter 16, and now it's time for this, the final th third uh, set of judgments, the, the bold judgments that are coming out from heaven. Last chapter, we noticed in chapter 15 that the doors were of the throne room were opened, and these angels come out with the bowls. They are ready to administer this justice against Satan and all of his kingdom, his attempt to have a kingdom of his own. They call it Babylon in the Bible. We're not just talking about a physical place, although it could be represented as a physical place on earth, but we're talking about the kingdom Satan is trying to build for himself. It will all be destroyed in this final battle in preparation for Revelation 20 and then the new heaven and new earth of 21 and 22. So here we see the seven bowls. Now I shared this with you before in the trumpets as well as the seals that these have a lot of commonality. You see the first bowl poured out and it goes against the earth, the, the land, and all the land is destroyed. Then you see the second bowl go against the seas, the oceans, and the seas around the world. Then you see the third bowl go against fresh waters, and the fourth bowl go against the sun, moon, stars, and so forth, creation, and uh, all of the universe. And and on and on it goes. Those tend to match across all three, which makes some commentators believe that it's not really looking at consecutive judgments that are chronological, but more alike cutting across an onion and seeing all three of these happening in different realms, the physical realm, the spiritual realm, the heaven realm, the eternal realm. And that may be the case. That's hard for us to interpret. John's trying his best to describe it to us. And it's easier to interpret it chronologically, but it doesn't change the point. In fact, what I love about this chapter, in spite of all the judgments happening, is the warning and the call again to turn back to God before it's too late. We see Jesus interject these words into John's writing in the midst of all this. I wrote it down. That was my verse, chapter 16, verse 15. Jesus is quoted as saying, look, I come like a thief. You're not going to know it. It's going to come quickly. You're not going to be able to anticipate it or plan for it or prepare for it or predict it. We, we already know you can't predict the day of Jesus coming. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed so that they don't go naked and they're not ashamed when Jesus returns. Jesus shared lots of parables about that, how the bridegroom comes when the the maids least expected and how you know, there, I'm going to come like a thief. He's said that before. He's talked about that in his Gospels. And he warns us that if you're trying to use Revelation to predict the end so you can play and do whatever you want until as far as long in your life as you can before you turn back to God, you will miss it. You won't be ready. Your hard, heart will get hardened by sin. You'll miss out on not only what God wants to do in your life, but you'll miss out on repentance before your life is over. And for these people on earth who are deceived into following Satan, they, for, they refuse to repent and they face the final judgment and, are, and lose their chance at eternity. Jesus is warning us today through John in this chapter, don't be a part of the bold judgment. Better to surrender to Jesus now <laughs> and not face that judgment than to try to live a long life and lose in judgment later. Don't miss out. That's Jesus's warning. And I think that's an encouragement to all of us. We need to remember you're not going to live with sin and expect to live again. You have to give your life to Jesus so that he can wash you of that sin clothe you with his new covenant, give you eternal life, and let you become the person he designed you to be. You have a great calling in life. Don't miss it, because Jesus will return like a thief, and you won't be ready. Well, God bless you as you do live your life for Jesus, and I'm excited about the opportunity we've been given to help share this story with so many others around us. There's probably somebody in your life that would benefit from going through the book of Revelation, if for no other reason than to at least be aware 
of the finality of judgment yet to come. You might even want to share this with them today. God bless you as you do. We'll see you again next time. Have a great day.